Welcome into tomorrow. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Graveline from Berlin, Germany last week. Now we're in San Francisco, California for the Intel Developer Forum. We hope you didn't miss any of the two weeks worth of coverage from IFA in Berlin. If you did, swing by intotomorrow.com and check out the video of all of our guest interviews from our broadcast booth, from the show floor, from all over the place. And of course, also the highlight video. It's a big one this year. There's so many highlights from IFA. There's a lot to see. But now, as I mentioned, the Intel Developer Forum, where your playground awaits. And what are you making? Kind of the theme for this year's IDF, because it's all about creativity and networking and engineers and developers all doing things for all of us consumers in the long run. Take a peek at the showcase show floor here at IDF and several cool new products and interviews from here in San Francisco. So we've got the 21st Century Robot Project, Dave. So the 21st Century Robot Project is an open source 3D printable robot. So this is Jimmy. Jimmy's based on Intel Edison. If you see inside of there, you have the Intel Edison chip put on a carrier board. That carrier board is connected to a subcontroller, and those subcontrollers are connected to all the motors. So you can actually buy a kit and put this together, and then you can go online and you can download the design files. And because of the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on Intel Edison, it'll actually talk to your laptop, your smartphone, or your tablet, and you can start to download applications. He can do whatever you want him to do, whatever you program him to do, and that's really our idea. I'm a two-foot-tall, high-end, humanoid research robot. I love IDF. We're calling the, the Twitter API right there every 10 seconds and saying and looking for IDF hashtags, so anyone talking about this event. We're breaking it apart every two seconds and doing sentiment analysis on each tweet. And then in real time, we're changing these Philips Hue light bulbs based on whether or not it's something good, positive that was said, or negative that was said. Blue is neutral, green is positive, red is uh, um, bad. We think that if you have to program, we failed. We want to make this so simple that it's drag and drop. You know, it gets people started with home automation or, or as complex as you want to get. One of the neat things we have is we have a new micro client that is very affordable, very easy to use, that allows you to take all the things that want to communicate to the cloud and do that like your, say your appliances or whatever you have out there. This can act as a gateway to do that. And we're actually doing some certification now to do that. So it can act as a gateway in your house or in your business that makes it a single point where all that data travels through as it goes into the cloud. And then when you want to communicate back to your devices, it can do it through this as well. And it kind of just brings it all together so you don't have a lot of extra traffic going on. We're showing here Intel RealSense technology. Some of the major things that Intel RealSense technology does, it allows you to create user interfaces beyond the mouse and keyboard for applications and games. Here it is showing, uh, it'll, it'll track up to two different hands. It does various kinds of, uh, of gestures like thumbs up, uh, thumbs down. What we have here is uh, Anouk Riprecht's uh, latest design. It's called Synapse, and it's a dress that we helped her uh, enable, enable it with Edison. It allows the wearer to communicate with her dress versus with her language, for example. And um, here we have the, um, 
the head, the shoulder pieces, which have some really high power LED lights. There, there are two 10 watt LED lights. Uh, these lights light up uh, based on uh, EEG activity recorded by by a sensor on the headset, and uh, they also uh, respond to uh, proximity data that comes in from a proximity sensor, which tells her when people have gotten too close or too far away. So when people get too close or her attention elevates due to something being engaging in the environment, uh, the lights shine really brightly on the shoulders. Spinwell is actually a demonstration for a tool that we have created for Galileo. Uh, the tool is called Connect Anything. It's open source, it's online. And what it does is it makes your Galileo broadcast a website straight to your phone that allows you to easily program electronics. So you can see sensors that you plug into the Galileo and you can control motors, lights, household electronics. For example, I've got a touch sensor right here. And with this touch sensor, I'm controlling uh, paddle number five. Uh, and I've got a light sensor here. And this light sensor is controlling uh, the little paddle on pin 13. The Connect Anything software is aimed at uh, middle school level, middle school skill level, which I think is most of us uh, people. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you can see the UI right here. So I've got my inputs and I've got outputs and I'm just drag dragging simple connections between them. I can invert things. Um, I can take control of things in real time. And this entire game board is built on nothing but this. I created this painting actually using the Surface Pro 3 and Corral Painter 2015. Um, and so if we just turn on the different layers here, you can see that I started with the sketch and you know color blocking and then I added in all the details to create a much more you know complete picture. I'm very surprised at how well the pressure sensitive Activity works on the Surface Pro 3, um, and as you can see, it's a you know traditional desktop UI. And when you undock it, it very seamlessly uh, switches over to the tablet UI. Um, but you still have you know a lot of the full functionalities here. Um, but you know it's just at your fingertips. It's touch friendly, and you're able to work you know whenever, wherever. Take this thing on the go with you. We hope you've enjoyed all three hours of this week's radio show from here in San Francisco at the Intel Developer Forum and, of course, this highlight video. Now, if you've got any questions at all, I have some about some of the things that we've shown you on this highlight video and the things we've covered on this week's radio broadcast. We want to hear from you. We'll get answers for you, I assure you, and we'll chat about all kinds of fun things. 1-800-899-INTO from anywhere in North America or Skype into us if you'd like. That's 1-800-899-4686. Or, of course, use the audio option on our free Into Tomorrow apps. Of course you have that. If not, why isn't it already on your smartphone? We take up a very little bit of space. So check out and download the free Into Tomorrow app on your favorite mobile device. Meantime, next week, back in our Miami studios, taking your calls, addressing your concerns, and taking care of your digital dilemmas. I'm Dave Graveline on behalf of our entire team traveling from Berlin, now to here, and finally back home in Miami. Thanks for staying tuned into tomorrow.